Welcome back, guys, to the Bear Taffy Live Show, Saturday, November 2nd, 2013. Good to see you. Thanks for coming out again. This is, of course, the first in many future indie preview slots for the Bear Taffy Live Show. And uh, I'm actually expecting these not to take the full hour, but I've just dedicated an hour to them just in case, you know, I have enough to talk about for these games for that long of a period of time. I'm expecting them to usually ra last anywhere from 20 to 45 minutes, but in any case, thank you so much for coming. This is the first game I will be highlighting in this indie preview section. This is called Pressure. And it's a game about racing around. Uh, there wasn't actually much of a story involved with it. Uh, of course, if you're watching this on YouTube, you'll find the link to it on Steam down in the description below. And you can uh, find that, guys, if you're watching the live Twitch chat. You can find it there as well in the near future. Uh, it is a uh, it's a racing game of sorts. Uh, the the storyline behind it is uh, you are you are this fine gentleman right here, and he is he's on a quest to, to defeat who is basically just the the most stereotypical evil scum lord you could possibly imagine. And uh, let's get to it, I suppose. I kind of want to show you the settings real quick just so you guys can see what's going on here. You got your resolution, your gamma, your quality, which is basically low or high, which is of course. All you could ask for, really. Uh, that beard is indeed fantastic. <laughs> I like that a lot. The characters in this game, I think, are one of the highlights for me. It's just I like, I love how uh, silly and over the top they are. It's a really good, uh, really good theme. I think it resonates really well with me. Let's go ahead and continue though into pressure here. And there's, uh, there's of course the evil gentleman you saw for a brief waking moment there. Now, the art style overall, you guys can kind of get a good vibe of it right now. That uh, it's. It's kind of low budget, it feels like. I I see where they were trying to go with it. You know, I, I like it well enough. There's the link for the uh, Steam store page. Thank you so much, Ilsaw, for dropping that in the chat there. Uh, but it's... I like it well enough. I mean, like, it's it's really... Uh, it, it's, it's kind of a youthful appeal to it. My wife actually really liked it when she first saw it. Uh, he's got a spinny head robot dog companion there. Uh, but let me give you guys the quick rundown of what you can access in the main menu here. So this is the between levels menu that you can access inside of the game. Uh, of course, you have your upgrades that you can purchase in the garage. This is your buggy. It's your main mode of uh, destruction and transportation in the game. I have the Spitting Mary 2 right now as my uh, weapon. Oh, no, sorry, actually. That was the first weapon he had. Dr. Flim Flam Special is my currently equipped weapon. You can change between all these ones you've upgraded. You get gold by completing missions inside of the game. Pretty straightforward stuff there. You can also upgrade these uh, weapons up to uh, twice to get to the level 3 level of the upgrade. So uh, if I do that, for example, I can get to level 3 of the Spitting Mary. It's the trusty standard issue weapon. You can also switch over to secondary weapons, which are just kind of little passive upgrades you, you can uh, tack on to the buggy. You get the Tesla gun, for example, the repair kit. Uh, something actually I'm finding is uh, much more necessary as the le as the levels get more challenging, quote unquote. You'll see what I'm talking about in a second here. Uh, local, local multiplayer with Bear Wife, yeah, that'd be a fun thing to do. It might actually be possible in this game. That'd be that'd be interesting. Maybe I can convince her to do it one day. Uh, the Bone Crusher, of course. There's a hell of a lot of upgrades, which is a uh, well, I mean, there's not a lot in terms of, you know, uh, comparatively with other games of this nature, but there's enough where I think it provides an, uh, a significant amount of depth to your gameplay. So you got your secondary weapons here, you got your battering rams that you can upgrade here, as well as the buggy upgrades themselves, which help you out as far as longevity and your, uh, and your life, your estimated lifespan. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and actually upgrade the repair kit because I felt like I kind of needed that as I was getting into these later levels. Go ahead and roll with this. Of course, I'll show you the uh, map in just a minute here. Uh, the bice, the bistro. And they have their Simi's language, which is hilarious. Have you seen the entry fee to the Uber spots? Pretty high! Good to know! <laughs> and uh, as far as I can tell, that doesn't actually help at all. It was just as, just as fun to listen to these guys talk. Me neither. If you're, is your wife also a bear? Oh yeah, absolutely. Bear's gotta marry a bear, why not? So as you can see here, I've done uh, up to level 7, it looks like. So to score you on a uh, ranking scale at the end of every level, uh, it's, you know, it's kind of an Angry Birds uh, vibe to it as far as that's concerned. 
Uh, so you get a trophy like you can see here. I managed to get the gold trophy somehow in level 6, which is really interesting. And uh, unfortunately it doesn't let me see how much farther we can get down into the game. But let's go ahead and start off on level 7 here now, and I'll show you guys some of the actual gameplay. And those are the quintessential evil. The <laughs> I love that the that the robots like smoke cigars and drink beer. It's just, like the greatest thing. But away we go as the uh, for the actual gameplay here in pressure. And uh, now you'll see that I'm using my recently upgraded splitting Mary the default weapon. I'll let you guys know how this is actually controlled here. You can use the boost like I just did by play pressing the X button on your controller. I highly recommend playing this on a gamepad if you have the choice between that or your keyboard and mouse. Uh, you can use the keyboard, it's just a little bit awkward to, to get used to. Especially in the early goings of it as you're trying to really accommodate to to what's going on. You don't like the camera angles, Art Boy, I don't blame you because that was actually one of my gripes I have with the game as well. The fact that it's an over-the-top angle, which makes it really hard to kind of differentiate between you know, the enemies and you, as well as what the different kinds of enemies actually are. And uh, as you can see, my, my situation is becoming dire quite quickly here. I uh, used my repair kit just then to try to boost back up to a a slightly more uh, appropriate level of health, and apparently there's a giant freaking spinning wheel blade saw of death that chases you at this level. <laughs> oh god. Uh, you love the jungle. The aesthetic of the game overall, I think, is a, uh, a plus. I was talking about the art style that they had in the beginning, where it's kind of evident when you're seeing it in the menu screens there. I'm feeling the pressure now. Hilarious! Uh, but as far as the game itself, it looks really smooth. I mean, I've got this running on high, which is, of course, the the highest option you have for this game. But, I mean, it looks really good right now. Everything's running really smoothly. Uh, the, the bullets are flying at an appropriate rate, and the boost looks pretty good. But that also kind of leads me to one of the negative aspects of the game that I had, which is the sound design overall. I really liked the music when I first started listening to it. It has a really uh, hip, fun vibe to it. Really, uh, It's got jazzy saxophone, which is always good. But, uh, oh god, okay. Gotta, gotta use the health kit again there. There we go. That was really close. Of course, every time you hit a checkpoint, you, uh, you refill your pressure gauge, which is what I was just using to uh, get those boosts going. So every time you press X, you get that boost of speed there, which I believe if you uh, let it uh, let it charge up for a little while, it'll boost you quite a bit further. So sometimes instead of just boosting willy nilly, you kind of want to let that recharge a bit so you can get up to a to a higher level of boost. It has a uh, it has a good measure of skill associated with it, I think. When I first started playing it, I really wasn't a fan of the controls. I thought it felt kind of slippery, and oh my god, I totally just bounced off the edge of the bridge there. That was awesome. Now, I thought it felt kind of slippery and not really uh, intuitive to to the driving mechanics. But as I've, I've as I've gotten to play it more and more, I'm starting to I'm starting to get a better feel for it. I'm starting to become more acclimated to the way the game wants me to move around, the way it wants me to. Uh, use my use my boost use my items and I'm running low on pressure I really need to get to the end real quick oh god please let me get through this <laughs> I'm so close pressure is such an apt description for it there we go and there's our end screen you guys can see uh, wow holy cow there's a lot of enemies in that one the sex is pretty damn smooth isn't it yes this is, in this is indeed the uh, final section of the stream, guys. We got an outstanding rating on that one, which is actually kind of surprising, considering I felt like I made a quite a few mistakes there, too. So, uh, yeah, and then it just drops you right back here into the, into the main menu area, where you uh, kind of get to start things over again. We can have a quick look at how many gold units we picked up from that round, which actually looks like we may have gotten quite a few. Uh, oh, man, we're so close to the Spitting Eve machine gun. That'd be nice to pick up. We do have our repair kit that we could probably stand to upgrade another time. I think we'll probably get enough money to uh, still get the upgrade here for the next weapon, or maybe I should consider the buggy. But uh, yeah, this is kind of a kind of another 
mechanic that it presents to you is uh, deciding between the upgrades you need because it I feel like it scales well to to the degree of difficulty that you experience in the later levels uh, so I mean that that works out pretty well for it as far as the garage upgrades are concerned and he's falling asleep on the couch because this is clearly very very boring <laughs> let's go ahead and run through one more level I think and that might be uh, just enough uh, old acquaintances I wonder if see this is what I'm wondering too about the game is uh, whether or not you'll run into a boss level of sorts. I mean, I actually had one of those uh, few levels back. I think it was level four or something like that. And uh, that was pretty cool, and I'm hoping that that spurs up more in the game. Because it really serves to uh, break up a bit of the monotony. That kind of uh, boils back down to what I was referring to earlier about the sound design. I'm sure you guys are already noticing it, uh, the fact that the machine gun... Well, the thing is, you can't ever really stop firing, or you'll pretty much be dead. So you're you're kind of forced to just listen to the tickety tack of the pellets of the machine gun coming out the entire time, which unfortunately gets a little bit repetitive. Uh, as I was saying too, the soundtrack, while I didn't love it originally, is now st kind of starting to get repetitive. So I think I'm gonna have to mark it down a bit for the sound design. I, I felt like they could have done a bit more as far as providing some more variety. I mean, obviously the, the different weapons uh, provide you with different sounds, but I mean, you gotta, you gotta kind of realize when you're doing a game like this that people are gonna have to, uh, you know, listen to this stuff the entire time that they're playing the game. And do forgive me for kind of breaking off a tangent here. It's kind of difficult to focus on this while commentating. It, uh, it's definitely more of a spray and pray than anything. I mean, I, I touched on the on the skill necessity earlier on, and that, by the way, is a uh, freaking sucker machine. Those things are the worst. They start to suck away your pressure gauge. I guess I should point out too. So you'll see the uh, you'll see the meters on the left side. I am starting to take a hell of a lot of damage, which you can probably see indicated by my green gauge going down quite a bit over on the left side there. I used my secondary ability, which was the repair kit, in order to bring that back up. But there are a hell of a lot of uh, sucker bots trying to get to me right now, and if I can't get to this next checkpoint, they might they might spell my demise. So getting really close here. Oh, come on, give it to me, give it to me. I'm right there. Thank you. Okay, we got a hell of a lot of pressure back here now. That's good. But yeah, the uh, the health gauge right there, the pressure gauge right there. You can see the amount of money that you've collected. I think that's total. I think that's your total sum. So it looks like we're going to have enough to buy an upgrade next time. Should I so desire. Can we do pressure death roulette? <laughs> well, that's the thing, too, is it's really hard to determine what's actually uh, doing mu much of the damage to you in this game. It's, it's uh, just a confusing mess a majority of the time. But that actually is kind of one of the appeals to it, too. It's just that it's so chaotic. It's such a ridiculous environment. It's really hard. Oh my god, I mean, look at this. This is just a mess right now. I don't think I'm going to make it to the end either. This is kind of a bummer here. Oh god, this is going to be really close. Luckily, the blimp isn't following me anymore. Do you lose if the pressure reaches zero? Yeah, you do. And I'm I'm feeling like I, I might have an opportunity to show that off right now. I'm so close. Please, come on! The finish line is right there! Oh god. So sad. So sad. Let's go ahead and go back to the shop here. Oh, man. That was a bummer. So there it is. Oh, there it is. Uh, so uh, let me know if you guys have any other questions here. I think we've uh, kind of showcased the majority of this here. I'll go ahead and play one more uh, try here in the level 8 run. I wonder if I kept any of that money. That's a good question I should have asked myself. No, it doesn't look like I did. So you do have to uh, achieve victory if you want to hang on to the funds you get in the round. Yeah, I think it's uh... Overall, I think it's uh... It's not exactly worth the price point. It's a good amount of fun. I'd wait for a sale on this one, see if maybe uh... Steam uh... Christmas sale or something drops down to half price or something like that. Visually, it's pretty good. Yeah, I mean, like, the main menu itself, I, I kind of feel like it's... 
I don't, I don't know. To me, it looks like it's almost unfinished to a degree, but that could just be my, uh, you know, my stupid bias or something like that. Uh, but yeah, I think uh, at a half off price, I'd say this is probably worth a worth a shot. It's, it's a good, good, clean, wholesome, family friendly fun with a bit of a learning curve, but uh, not too much to where you feel like you're gonna be completely screwed if you're if you're not able to do things uh, semi decently. I start to pick up on things. Uh, for example. I learned very quickly that you want to destroy the uh, the vacuum bots before anything in almost every single circumstance. And uh, it's also usually a good idea to just boost as often as you can, not only to get farther into the game, but to, uh, or not into the game rather, but into the level itself, but also to potentially destroy cars that are nearby because the pressure boost will occasionally uh, ram them into walls or something like that. It'll actually help you out quite a bit. Go ahead and use the freaking repair kit again. Man, I don't, I don't know how I was not using the repair kit for some of these levels. I was I was getting destroyed. Nick's Pewter, how's it going? This is indeed the third hour already. We're into the indie preview here of Pressure. Ah, oh god, I totally... <laughs> totally choked on my own spit there. That was attractive. Uh, no micro payments accepted. Yeah, so that was another uh, little note I had made for myself. The fact that at times this almost feels like a mobile game. I mean, certainly not with a microtransaction element because that's non-existent. Which thankfully, uh, well, like I'm really glad that that's the case because that would be uh, kind of terrible for a game like this that with microtransactions associated with it. But at the same time, I kind of I kind of get that vibe from it where I wouldn't have been, you know, entirely surprised. If that were the case, so yeah, it's uh, I I think I'm I'm having a good enough time with it where I could recommend it for, you know, like a five dollar price tag or something like that. I think it'd probably be worth it. Oh god, this thing is sucking away every last bit of my pressure. I gotta kill this vacuum. There we go. Oh jeez, get to the checkpoint. Get to the checkpoint. Come on, buddy. Come on now. And it's not even really worth it to hang on to the pressure as, aside from using it for your boosts because you kind of are forced to just boost continuously, which is another almost rag on the sound design again, because you kind of just have to hear that wow, wow, like over and over again. But, you know, permissible, passable, definitely not something that totally ruins the experience. And with the, with the chaos that's going around you all the time, too, it's almost negligible to the point where you're not even noticing it as you're focusing more and more on Destroying everything around you, and here comes the mighty blimp again. Am I being vacuumed? I certainly am. Oh, jeez. So as you can see, yeah, it starts to become freaking ridiculous to have to deal with the vacuum suckers and the high damage as well. Oh, God. I'm going to get about to the same point there, I think, as far as my progress is concerned on this level. I might have even done worse this time. All uh, right, keep boosting, keep boosting, keep boosting. Oh god, oh I might make it, I might make it, I'm so very close, come on! Come on, let me do it, yes! Oh my god. Wow, that was close. I can't believe I actually made it through that level. Oh, something I should point out too, uh, when you destroy enemies, it gives you a little bit of boost for your health and your pressure. So that was probably how I was able to uh, make it through that level. Barely made it at the end there, exactly. Oh god. Good stuff. Super Scratchy Scrubbing Set! Oh, man. Alright, guys, so... There you have it. It's Pressure. It's available on Steam right now. If you want to drop the link in the uh, Twitch chat, feel free to do so. I'll have the link to purchase it down in the description of the YouTube VOD. Again, thank you guys for uh, supporting and checking out the first of many, hopefully, Indie preview slash spotlight sessions here on the Bear Taffy live show, as well as uh, those of you watching on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching me there. We go ahead and uh, sign off here on the live show today and sign off on YouTube as well. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next show.